Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I don't, I can't, I can't believe this guy. Let's get into it. So essentially, this whole bullshit with Quantum TV and the Act Man and Re Review Tech USA, Mischief, uh, Griffin Gaming... It's just continuing to go on, and I feel like it's gotten to a point where no one thought it would ever get to, which was Quantum TV somehow finding the information, whether it was given to him by his fans like he said it was, or him personally going out of his way to get the information, found the phone number of Act Man's mother and called her. Does anyone else feel like that's just insane? Not only is it incredibly childish that you're, oh god, these guys are picking on me, I'm gonna call their mom. But it's the fact that keep YouTube drama, or whatever you want to call it, on YouTube. Do not call and reach out to other people's family members. Like, seriously. So, of course, um, the act man tweeted and said, you know, showed like, hey, Quantum TV talk, uh, called my mother and basically made veiled threats. And yeah, he said, he said the words, we don't want to get family involved or hurt now, do we? Or something along those lines. And yeah, if, he, he, the act man obviously got pissed off and upset the fact that Quantum did something this stupid and this just he it's just I'm, I'm it's hard to find the words here because this is absolutely I'm speechless with how stupid this guy is and he then he, he Quantum uh, not Quantum Ackman does say hey you know what we see you mm, excuse me we see you Quantum we shoot on sight and you know what? I feel like that is a very valid response. Like, you know, violence is not the the, the answer here, but if some guy... Basically, what he said, and Quantum, of course Quantum took this out of context or is trying to skew this in a completely different way, but yeah, if a guy you don't know shows up to your home or your, God forbid, your parents, your other family members' homes unannounced... You have the right to defend yourself. And I've already watched a bit of this, and I just want to go over a little bit of this with you guys, because the amount of bullshit this man is spewing, and how he is able to twist everything to, once again, make him the victim, even though he is the one that initiated it. So let's just watch. Ready? Uh, this is Quantum TV... Uh, sorry, the Act Man threatened to murder me. Let's, uh, let's try this. The act man has officially threatened to murder me. Already uh, less than 10 seconds in and the amount of bullshit is strong here. You heard that correctly. He has threatened to take my very life. He delib- If you show up to his property, his property or his mother's, he's not going to actually fucking shoot you, dude. He is saying do not go near him or his mother's property. Deliberately lied so that he could come up with an excuse to threaten to murder me. Kind of like what you've been doing this whole time, but go on. Let's read his lie of a tweet. We'll put it up on the screen, sit back, and just read the trash he wrote, okay? I can confirm Quantum TV is threatening me and my family with doxing and violence. News to me. Even reached out to my mother saying, we wouldn't want our families to get hurt or involved in this also news that i said that on the phone call I, we'll get to it very very new information here but okay i would you called his mom quantum you fucking stepped over a line you uh, you're the instigator you are i wish i was fucking joking if we see you quantum 
We shoot on sight. Went over that, yes. You show up to his mom's house. Oh, man. He's not gonna fucking shoot you, you idiot. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that face. That is the face of somebody who's trying to act like the fucking victim, even though he's the instigator. But it's going. I'll say that again. If we see you, we shoot on sight. So I, I could just be like walking out of my home, and if you're there, you shoot. It, it... Good God! The amount of twisting he is doing. No. He. Once again, if you show up to his property, or his mother's property, or any of his family members' properties, unannounced, and they feel like you are a threat to them, hey, you, you live in Florida, man. They had that stand-your-ground bullshit law. But no one's gonna fucking shoot you. He is visibly upset because you called his fucking mother. Where are the contacts for this? But of course, people on his own Twitter realized how bad the statement was, and he probably shouldn't have said that last part, right? And so then he amends it. Oh, crazy people, man. If you show up at my property, you'll hit the ground dead. Dude, if a known crazy person threatening violence shows up at our driveway, then that's where they're hitting the ground dead. You know what? I'll... I never thought I'd ever say this, but I agree that he should not have said it. It's a little much. But at the same time, he is visibly upset that a crazy person on the internet that he is having problems with for legitimate reasons called his mother and is threatening to dox his family. Yeah, I'd be upset too. Yeah, yeah, you'll be dead if you do anything. Trying to really cover his tracks, realizing the gravity of the threat he just made. He made an on-site murder claim that he's absolutely gonna do. In Florida, the crime of written threats occurs where a defendant threatens in writing to kill or commit bodily harm to another person or to commit a mass shooting or act of terrorism. Written threats is a second degree felony with penalties up to 15 years in prison. So, they don't live in the same state, so that's going to be a difficult one to hold up because if Ackman doesn't live in Florida, then can it still go through I don't know do this now here's the problem with that act man is not some small guy the act man is somebody with 1.3 million subscribers on an international level anyone from all around the world has access to his content yeah. and he has fans even in the state where I live so so much even if it's not him doing it directly he can absolutely and has motivated some absolutely violent people to agree with his logic here you see He's lit. No one is good. None of his fans are going to come after you, Quantum. And I love how he tries to make, like, oh, act bros unite for the honor of act mother. Like, it's. It's a. It's not a fucking threat. He's gonna. He actually Literally incited a mob. He's basically on Twitter, not even basically, word for word, says, act bros unite for honor of act mother that sounds like a dying terroristic call you'd shout out before Good you do Lord. something fucked up okay i don't know what the hell that's all about the internet but that's Welcome some weird internet, language Quantum. going on there the other thing that i find very very strange is all of the gun emojis and memes and people right down to talking specifics as to what kind of gun the act man needs to use on me that one and we're a lot of people that have been commenting or covering this story have said that was in bad taste. That is in bad taste, and as you can tell in this video, there are no likes, there's no comments or retweets, because common sense dictates that is a bad call. And that person might be taking the joke a bit too far. We're supposed to believe I'm playing devil's that all of this is, he's not responsible if anything happens. He had nothing to do with any of this. He isn't responsible for what other people do, unless he specifically told them to do it. And I doubt, and as you can tell, you can look at all his tweets. He is not telling people to do anything. Behavior that we're seeing. And, and the thing that really gets me with this whole inciting of this mob is when I tried to reach out and make him aware of what he was doing, he act like he understood the situation and then took it to another level. 
Okay, so fun fact here. Apparently, the Act Man did invite him to a to a Discord call to hash it out. But Quantum refused to join the call. And this is a big thing this video, and I'm not even going to go over this entire thing because that would be way too long a video. But he specifically tried to reach out and talk to Quantum. But Quantum refused. He didn't want... If I'm remembering this correctly, he did not want to... He said, like, he wanted to record the conversation. And Ackman said, you can absolutely do that in Discord. He didn't believe it, or he didn't want to believe it. So, this whole bullshit of, I'm trying to get a hold of him. And the reason why I'm called his mom was because I can't get a hold of him. And I need to find a way to get a hold of him to talk about this and end this whole thing. Dude, he asked you to a goddamn Discord call, and you refused. Because you, uh, for whatever reason, is you're, you're trying to, at the end of the day, Quantum TV is trying to be the victor here. He wants to be looked at as the one who won this whole situation. There is no future that you win, Quantum. The more you agitate... And the more you post these bullshit videos trying to say everything's wrong, everything's fake, I'm perfectly innocent, I did nothing wrong, the, the deeper you dig this hole. If you had just taken the L, if you had just said, you know what, I had a, I, no one liked my opinion of Elden Ring, cool, you know what, whatever. But you copyright striked, or you tempted to copyright strike mischief. You called out Rich on Review Tech USA when he made comments about you. Uh, about the whole situation, you called him a pedophile with no proof. And then, of course, Actman comes in on this, and you attack him, because, and because he has the most amount of subscribers, he's your new enemy. Because, like you said, you don't, like, very beginning of all this, when you were shitting on Mischief for only having, like, uh, 6,000 followers or so, now he's got double your amount, because... We in the community are showing we support him. We don't support you. Your channel has not been growing. I've been keeping track of it. But another thing is, which is insane to me, is reading your comments on this video that are supporting your bullshit. Like, before we even hop back in here, I've left a couple comments too, if you want. Like I said, take the L and move on. There is no timeline where you win this. Or the hypocrisy of this is insane. Can't wait for you to lose everything and you have no one to blame but yourself, Quantum TV. Because he, at the end of the day, that's correct. Your surveillance video doesn't prove anything. It's blacked out and it's only a one-way conversation. Could have been reading it from a script. This could have, this could get thrown out in court even if it shows you on the phone holding the actual phone. It needs to be a two-way audio for it to hold any value. Um, this is something like, he actually, he actually shows the, well, posts the audio of the phone call because he has, uh, sensors and uh he has microphones in his uh house which is a one-way call you can barely hear it but it's just so here you can hear him calling you can't hear what actman's mother is saying so i'm glad some people are calling him out on his bullshit and i also you continue to push the issue you are the instigator you cross the line calling actman's mom what is wrong with you valid Whoever, hey, whoever is destroying this man's comment section on YouTube, just take a second and think what you are doing with your life and are, and you are not making the situation any better. Um, I like how you, how can you calibrate 2018 LG OLED? Fight him in an exhibition fight. Everyone just needs to chill. It's not going, it's not doing any good for the people involved here. His mother seems like a reasonable, intelligent woman. Unfortunately, Ackman is not. I'm sorry this is happening to you, Quantum. And, I, and I'm going to say a prayer for you and your family. I love this. Uh, Quantum. Well, just, like I said, people, like, it's outright bullying what they're doing. It should just stop. So he isn't responding to emails from you then about a... So he isn't responding to emails from you. Then how about about a potential call? Sorry, man, this is absolutely getting crazy. Worst part of YouTube, I would say. Hope things come to a closure soon. File a police notice if not stopped. Sounds like a bunch of haters because you're honest with your content and you cannot be bought. You sh YouTube should suspend his account for a while. Same with Twitter. And at 
I love how that person says they should suspend all his social media when Quantum has said worse things. But I was hacked. All right, Quantum responded with, ask yourself, if I called Saturday, April 23rd, 2022, and later that same day, Ackman posts he's done with the Quantum TV business, how could the conversation possibly have been threatening? Also, why didn't he call the police? Doxing and violent threats are a crime. We all know I'd be in jail if this claims if his claims are true. Don't believe hearsay. I'm 100% innocent. I never threatened anyone. I sincerely hope Yakman will, will man up and take responsibility for his actions and damage his false accusations have caused. You hip... You hypocrite piece of garbage. Talk about man up. How about man up for yourself, man? This all started because you couldn't take criticism. And you can't understand copyright and fair use. Do not take the high... See, this is why this is a continue to go on. is because Quantum can't, can't take the L. He has to be the big man. You know, he can't have anything anything not work out the way he wants number one brandon honesty my ass let's watch a little more now let's be very clear as to why he's doing all of this tell me he's doing this because in his heart of hearts he believes i need to be removed off of the platform you do and to do so there is no low he is willing to stoop to or is unwilling rather to stoop to and you called his mom what how low did you stoop to get his inform his mom's information and call her we're seeing it here this is a personal vendetta this so is a vindictive manipulative tactic that he's using to fool everyone around him into attacking one person quantum tv this guy right here why is he doing that you might ask well let's go over a series of events here okay give you the full picture of what's truly happening okay i called his mother at 232 my time now i won't say where he is but what i will say is that's 1132 his time okay so people that can easily look up if it's this if it's two o'clock in florida where would it be 11 you know three hours three hours earlier and you'll get a general idea of where he's at Now, none of this is relevant if you don't know what's going on. He reaches out via Discord, supposedly willing to have a conversation. He did. When that conversation didn't get the result that he was looking for, he then basically plastered, hey, I'm just here to let you know the, the ramifications. He really loves talking like he's some big hot shot that can really do a whole lot. And in the end... You know, kind of like you, except he is a big shot and you're a piece of trash. But go on. It's really just ego. I was just trying to let you know the ramifications. I'll clean your clock. You better be prepared to sell that red wedding ring on your fucking finger. Your house, your car, your keys, your kids. Your... It's gloating. It's it's this thing. Talk. You know what? Don't don't dare call someone egotistical or someone has a huge ego when you yourself have narcissistic tendencies. You're a narcissist. Look at that face. That's a face of a narcissist that he's doing when really we're just trying to have a conversation yeah and the thing for me that is really annoying is past that once he's tr once we try to reach out to him and it goes sideways i still reach out to him again now i'm tr no you don't he proved it he showed he tried to get you in a discord conversation discord call and you refused you are a liar Wish I had that meme or that gif. It's like, you're a liar. Because you are. Trying to find Act Man. So what, what would you do? No one, you should not try to find Act Man. Any, a rational person in this situation is, if you don't know who he is, or just let me take in, you know, context. Even if you, if you didn't know the person you were having this argument with, and you were feeling like this is just affecting your your uh, your your money, your life too much. You know what? A, the bigger person would do. Just let it go. You know, you want to be the bigger person here. Just let it go. You didn't. You instead found Actman's 
mother's information, or sounds like you've got, actually got information on a bunch of them. The, the, the craziness that you somehow got Ackman's mother's number, but not his, is insane. Now that I'm thinking about that, yeah, that just, that doesn't make sense. But, go on. As a human being, if you're trying to find somebody who is hiding behind a stage name, the Ackman, well, you're going to look into them. It's not real hard to find him at all. You can Google him right now, and you can get all of the same information I did. It's not hard, okay? There's no law being broken, and everything I found on him was public oh, yeah. record at that I love point. how he puts that in there. Like, don't... I'm not saying you should do that, but... You should do that. Okay? So once you have public record, I literally call the first number associated so with his legal name. Of it. The first number I called was disconnected. Well, that's not going to work. I need to contact him. He's doing a lot here. His fans are attacking me. They're destroying my website. They're destroying my comment section. All because of his claims here. Welcome to YouTube. Welcome to the internet. Where people are not nice to you and can post whatever the fuck they want. Criticizing you for your stupid decisions and bad takes. It happens. Everyone does that. But the difference is, they have thicker skin and they don't give a shit and they move on. Um, but the rest of the video is getting pretty long, and I know I've ranted a lot, but the next part here is just listening to his call, which is incredibly bad quality. Um, it's just a black screen, so it doesn't even show him on the phone. He could have been reading from a script, to be completely honest with you. I'm trying to avoid any kind of litigation or lawsuit by, taking, by talking things out. Obviously not if you didn't sign up for his uh, Discord, or didn't sign into the Discord. But yeah, this goes on for a while. Talk to him to kind of me mediate this out so that we don't have to go to court. Um, yeah, I mean it. You could talk to him. I'm sorry, I mean if you can talk to him. These are just the little parts that they were able to, you know, decipher or what he put in his video. I don't plan... I don't plan doing a whole lot if not necessarily. I guess he's talking about suing. This level he's taking it to is a bit extreme, and that's why I'm calling. You crossed the line. You did it. No, no, no matter what he did to you on this platform, you did it worse. I'd rather not drag a family through the mud, given the times and the current such status of the world, inflation and war. Which, I'm sorry, that can be taken as a veiled threat. I'd rather not drag a family through the mud given the times and the current status of the world. We have families and stuff. We're trying to accomplish. I'm not trying to derail anyone's livelihoods. So I couldn't call him. So I couldn't call him. Correct. She calls me. She calls back to make sure the number is real, and this isn't a prank. But anyway, I'm done with this. This is too long a video, anyway. Um, I really hope people can see that this man is unhinged. He is an absolute narcissist, and he has a little bit of sight. I honestly say some psychotic tendencies, where all of his videos, he does not take any responsibility for any of his actions. He's, it's constantly someone else's fault. He's perfect. He's done nothing wrong. And it's always someone else attacking him, even though he was the instigator. This is not about Elden Ring. This is not about his bad take on it. This is about him abusing the copyright system. And when people call him out on it, like, no, man, that's not true. The fact that he's sitting back in his own little world saying... Everyone else is wrong. I'm the only right person here. Even though YouTube confirmed you are wrong. And you've been taking this farther and farther than it needed to be. And you just need to stop, Quantum. Stop. Take the L. Be humble. Move on. If you're really worried about yourself, your brand, and your image, take responsibility. Accept that you messed up apologize to the act man and his family and move on or more people are going to make videos about you and it's going to get a whole lot worse you're probably going to get taken to court and you're probably going to lose so we're warning you like you tried to warn the act man stop but hey what do you guys think down in the comments 
please tell. I, I really hope that people can see that he is. He's not all there. But let me know your thoughts, your thoughts and your uh, opinions in the comments down below. Uh, subscribe if you would like. I'm about 11 away from hitting 100, which is my goal that I wanted for the end of the year, and I'm already so close. Thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting me and watching these videos. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. We'll <laughs>